Hi people! In this video I'm gonna show you how to solo farm the silicate feeders, those are the non-elite larvas over by AMS, as a hunter. Now, there are some things I'd highly recommend you to have and they might be mandatory. Uh, the first one is a fresh, clean ID with all the bosses left untouched. And the reason for that is partly that uh, if AMS is dead, then the trash surrounding AMS is going to despawn and never respawn until it's a new ID. Uh, that's one of the things. And also, if it is a fresh ID, you can just click the reset button when you're outside and the dungeon will reset. Another thing which might be mandatory is to have a wolf pet. And the reason is that they have both Furious Howl and Dash. And what Furious Howl allows you to do is do AoE threats on the packs that you pull, meaning you can guarantee they're gonna go for your pets and not go for you. And thirdly, bring invisibility potions, as there are two parts in this dungeon which are way easier if you just use invisibility potions. So for these guys, what we're gonna do is just put our pet on stay and then attack. And once you got aggro, just pull him back. Uh, make sure to use Furious Howl to make sure they go for your pet and not for you. Now these guys hit very hard and they have some sort of AoE cleave that they do randomly, so make sure to keep your distance to them as much as possible. In this room, you want to look out for the uh, Swarm Guards as they move very fast and very chaotic and unpredictably, often doing 90 degrees turns or even 180 turns. Uh, so they are unpredictable and you want to keep an eye out for them. As for the stingers and wasps, they're pretty easy, they just fly around slower than you run uh, and do some pretty soft turns, so you can predict them way easier. Anyway, when you're running along, <clears throat> when you're running along this wall, you're pretty safe. Uh, and especially along this wall, there's only one pack of stingers that comes in here. Besides that, you're completely fine. In fact, it might be the pack that comes right there. Uh, at this stone, you're safe no matter what. Now, what you want to do now is make your way to that corner over there. And then we're going to do a tiny jump. The This place right here is like a turning point for a lot of the packs. And in this place here, I think there's one or two stingers that patrol. As for the corner here, there is a swarm guard that patrols into this corner that you need to be a bit careful for. When you do the jump, you run, let go of all buttons, press space, and then move forward, and you should be fine. There's the swarm guard that moves in here. Should you aggro that one, just do the jump and jump down and kite this mob back and forth, and you will maybe survive. No guarantees. When it comes to skipping Kurinax, just keep as far as possible to the left, and you should be fine. Should you pull them anyway, just run a bit further and use Feign Death and everything. It's going to be all right. This room is, at least in the beginning, very easy as you just run pack, run straight past two or three packs by keeping to the left. Uh, they have a surprisingly small aggro radius, so just running like this is gonna be very fine. Uh, when we need to skip the gladiators here, you can have a bit more of a tricky situation. It's still very possible though. Now what we're gonna do is make our way over to that corner. And in order to skip the first pack that's in our way, we are going to put our pet on stay in that corner over there. We move up the wall roughly to here. And as soon as the pet got aggro, pull him back. And use Furious Howl, and that will guarantee that all the mobs are going for your pets, and not some of them for your pets, and some of them for you. And then we feign death in this corner. Once the pet is dead, we revive him. Give him some food, because he's been a book. Good boy. <clears throat> Heal him up. And now you want to wait for your cooldown uh, of feign death. Because what you might want to do right here is to just feign death straight away. Depending on when your pet pulls aggro. Now just sneak out just so far that you can see them. But that they can't see you. Once that one is almost off cooldown, that's enough. Put pet on stay and attack. And depending on when these guys pull aggro, you want to... Possibly feign death immediately, but that worked out fine, so use your furious howl and send them back. This worked fine, and feign death here. Uh, like I said, sometimes they aggro way too soon, and if they aggro sooner than your pet meleeing them, 
Just put your pet on attack and feign death in that corner again, and then have another go at it. Uh, and sometimes if you're too close to your pet, uh, when your pet's running back and you're running here, they will do a um, some sort of cleave that will also kill you. Now, this guy is a pretty fast patrol. He's gonna move somewhere out there and then back there and just go in and out here. And while you're standing in this corner, you're gonna be completely safe. Um, but I find that this is one of the places where it's, where it's much easier if you just pop an invisibility potion. This guy can possibly see through invisibility. I haven't checked. Anyway, like I said, you're safe when you're standing in this corner. Gonna wait a little bit for him and he deals a lot of damage very fast and applies a very dangerous dot. So if you get one hit before you feign death, you're probably gonna die. So in order to try and skip these, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Just run up to the side to the left and voila. Once here, you pop your lesser invisibility or major if you want to and run straight through these packs and jump down to the gorger guy. And this was the hard part of getting to the silicate feeders. Make sure not to die due to landing landing in the shallow water here, that would suck. Be very careful not to do anything with these eggs. If you do, you will aggro the boss. And now there is a patrol of a flesh hunter that can be an issue uh, when you are running around here. But it seems like he's not here currently, so there he is. That could be the one we need to worry about, as there is one that walks down the stairs. Yep, there we have him. And should you encounter him, then the safest thing to do is to just go down all the way and wait for him to go back down and then up again. Instead of doing what I'm doing here, but this probably works as well. I don't know, I haven't tried this before. Gonna wait until he's there and then we get back up. Yes. And now we've made it to where we need to be in order to grind some silicate feeders. Okay, the good thing about these feeders is that because they are beasts and these drones are nothing, they will not be pulled. Uh, if you pull a beast, they won't pull well whatever sort of beast this is or monster. So even though those silicate feeders are very close to the other mobs, you can pull them without having to worry. When you're standing here, you're gonna be safe from that patrol, and what I recommend you to do now is just equip all your gear, put on your buffs, and start grinding the mobs. And as you could see, we made it here in maybe 5-6 minutes, and you can get here really quickly once you're good at this. Now there is a total of maybe 40 silicate feeders that you can kill per run, 30 maybe. Uh, some of them are here, what do we have here, like six, maybe seven, and some of them, a lot of them are in this room to the side, uh, and what I'd recommend you to do is once you've killed the ones immediately there, you run up this thing, and then you can just run between the packs into the room here, where you have a lot of the uh, feeders. As you can see, here is probably another, what's this, another 8 in 6 in here, 7. So maybe 12 mobs so far. And when you want to continue, I'd recommend you to make your way roughly here. Uh, now you can make it up this, whatever it is, this roots or keratin something, which is kind of tricky. Uh, what I've realized that you want to do is do not move, you know, Straight, don't hug the ball basically, but keep some distance to it and then move to the side and sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you can also sneak here. You can be here, but like you, as you could see, this is dangerous. So when you want to keep going, uh, I'd recommend you to just skip these two. What you do is pop your invisibility potion and then keep running and you definitely want to do this as there is a lot of silicate feathers over here. Okay, now I'd recommend you to probably hide in this corner actually, uh, after you've skipped that pack. As the mobs in that room move all over the room. Wait for your cooldown of feign death. Okay, it looks pretty good now, so we're just gonna keep running. Now, these patrols move in a way that allows you to pull 
pretty much all the larval acids or all the silicate feeders in this room, except for the ones down there closest to the throne. And this is how you do it. You just kill all the ones in the beginning and then you move over here. Uh, and as you can see, even though we pull the mob when he's straight beneath them, he won't aggro anything. And now you want to switch to having taunt and bite on your wolf. And this is pretty much how you do it. When killing them, I'd recommend you to let your pet tank them in the beginning. Uh, and then you just do your big damage volley and hopefully kill them off. And you can also kinda kite them up here. But anyway, this is pretty much how it's done. Uh, that poison thing deals a lot of damage. I think 350 per second. So make sure to move your pet out of it. But I think this is pretty much everything to say. Uh, they drop a lot of larval acid, they drop a bunch of scarabs, and every now and then also a, uh, a idol. One thing that could actually be helpful to have is disengage on your bar, should you need to do any damage. They're actually immune to freezing trap. But I think this was all I had to say. I uh, hope you have luck when you're farming with your hunter. When I was doing this, I think I reached maybe 180 gold per hour, which is pretty nice. And it's not a very difficult farm, and you can get lucky with some blue weapons. Uh, the most valuable idol on my server is currently worth maybe 70-80 gold, so that's not too bad. Anyway, that was all from me. Make sure to join the Discord, uh, where you can ask questions, maybe... Give me some suggestions and see what current video I am working on. Um, it's also the best way, I suppose, to contact me if you want anything. I also stream over at twitch.tv slash clouds. Yet again, the link is in the description. And with all this said, I'll be back soon with another video. Until then, see ya!